make sure it works properly. <laughs> right. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. To wait for the delay now before I know people are watching. <laughs> anyway, this is my sketchbook. I will start. I can't even get onto my live. <laughs> Brushes all mixed up. Let me just take this out. Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> How are you? Hope everyone is okay. Let me just sort out the um, camera angle because uh, I think it's all right now. <laughs> I hope you can hear me. If you can't hear me, can you please say? <laughs> I do have have trouble with the microphone sometimes. Hi Barbara. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. I hope you have a lovely day too. Mm. I'm just going to type in here because I need someone to tell me before I carry on. <laughs> oh, it sounds fine. Good, thank you. <laughs> That's all right then. I think I um, might have. Let me put the microphone just a little bit closer. There's this thing looming over my head and I have to try not to um, stick my head on it. Hi Gems! Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> I just like flicking, flicking through what we've done so far. So we've only done like three paintings. One, two, three, four. This is number five. Um, I don't know if you remember... Oh, look, it's still a bit wet. Remember yesterday, the technical issues, we had um, <laughs> the sound. Hi, Isa. Um, I had technical issues, didn't we? So I wrote on here, I will come back. But um, I didn't want to like, skip a page in my book. I didn't really want the writing to show through. There was writing under here as well. You can still see a bit of a sad face. <laughs> so I got my um, white gesso primer and I went over it and I created still a bit wet and so I did put the dryer on it but um, I created like I don't know if you can see can you see like texture and I sort of did a flower shape <laughs> so I'm going to be painting over the top of that with watercolours I'm a bit behind I'm always a bit behind anyway. <laughs> Check I'm a bit behind this morning because I was trying I've got my new, new camera my, uh, my um, proper streaming camera rather than my phone but it was taking so long to download the stuff that um hi lisa <laughs> that, um, i gave up so i'm just back on my um, phone phone camera <laughs> for the moment i think i'll just sort it out later yeah. um this brush i was going to paint with this brush it's a royal langnickel filbert it's just synthetic and it's cheap brush Keep brush. <laughs> Morning, Tim Osa. Have I said that right? <laughs> I'm terrible. I can't, can't uh, pronounce words very well. I have trouble speaking. Yeah. <laughs> I'd rather, rather make up my own words. There's like a character, isn't there, that just makes up their own words because they can't be bothered. <laughs> That's my dyslexic coming out. Ah, <laughs> oh, Gems has asked if I prefer synthetic brushes. Um, and my answer to that, to be perfectly honest, is yes, I do. Um, I find synthetic brushes, I like the spring. You know, I think I did this yesterday. This is a... Um, Sable brush and it's not very it springs back but it's not very springy compared to this brush it just it's got a big spring in it so when you're like painting I like I don't want to like have to push the bristles back <laughs> if you know what I mean anyway this is still wet but um, hopefully uh, still um, wet you can create um, if you put gesso underneath your 
watercolour <laughs> the, the watercolour does not um, absorb into it very quickly and you get some really lovely textures and things going on so it's really nice so let's try this I'm going to paint like a pink pink pinky gerber 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 flower and you'll be able to see I, I haven't done this in some lessons before my poppy master class um, I do it in and you can see you can see all, it shows up all the brush strokes from the, the gesso so that's just a nice big big bright flower there um, so that's a nice darker pink quite like this brush you get nice petal shapes <laughs> Not a watercolour brush, it's just a bog standard cheapy thing. You don't have to spend loads of money on um, brushes and things, just find one you like. You know, sable brushes are expensive and I don't like them personally. <laughs> Is that wrong with me? I'm going to change the brush now because I've done like the petal shapes, I want more of a rounder thing for the middle, rounder thing. Around a point on my brush rather than this brush has gone. Thing is, I treat brushes really badly, so it's silly me spending loads of money on them. <laughs> and uh, this one's got a bit fluffy at the end. Can you see see the fluffiness? But um, well, I think I was um, sent these ones to try out, and they are quite nice. And I will buy another one. There we go. <laughs> so I'm just dotting. You see, hear a strange noise, it's the bus. I'm just going to have a bit of my coffee because I just made it. Oh, hi, Barbara. <laughs> I said hello to you, didn't I? So, I'm, yeah, I'm sending some gesso powder on eBay. Um, I don't know. You have to use rabbit size glue. It's the old stuff, too. I've got. Uh, um, it's still on there, I think. <laughs> No one wants it because it's a faff. I shouldn't be saying that, should I? I think, yes, go and buy it. <laughs> you mix it with rabbit size glue and you mix, make your own gesso. And then um, I, I don't use gesso, 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 however you like to say it, um, for um, what it's really, how it's intended. I tend to use it more <laughs> because of white paint. <laughs> really so uh, yeah yeah that's the that's for like for like serious people who like to um make their own stuff and um <laughs> it just makes a texture in the um just because you like my hand movement <laughs> it makes a like, gritty texture in the paint that's what the gesso powder does and it makes it mix it i don't know it's for those people who like to spend hours sanding their um I never understood people who just say their canvas and then spend hours sanding it down and stuff. I haven't got the patience for all that. That's probably why I can't do oil painting. <laughs> but I can't I can't wait for it to dry. It's like, come on, dry already. Well, I'm not well, I am a bit impatient actually. I like things done instantly. <coughs> I think that's why I like watercolour painting and painting in like a loose, a loose style because um, I'm a bit impatient. <laughs> but that's the, the first like pinky flower. I hope you can see the texture. Let me hold it up a bit. It's got... Can you see the texture? I'm not sure. Hi Melanie, how are you? <laughs> No, Barbara, I couldn't completely um, relate with that. Not serious person. <laughs> oh, I didn't even hold it in the right place. It's because there's a delay, so I can't see <laughs> see what the uh, what it's like, what it's showing you. Where's the camera? <laughs> Sorry about that. That's so silly. Can you see? Can you see now? <laughs> there we go. Oh, well, um, I just um. There's like, <laughs> or shells at such a delay in the <laughs> thing, but 
I suppose it helps with a few things. <laughs> right, this is another flower. I'm just using all the pinks I have. And it, I've got a bit of gesso, it's just thinly under here and it's creating some. I'm going to hold it up again and you probably won't see it because um, can you see? Just I don't know if the camera's. <laughs> I don't know if I'm in shot. I can't stand up. If I stand up to look in the camera, I can't see. Ah, <laughs> oh, you'll be my grandsons. That's lovely. Yeah, I totally missed it again a bit, didn't I? Oh, I don't know. Let me just zoom in a bit closer anyway. So you can... Oh, sorry, you got my T-shirt and everything. <laughs> if the camera picks it up. Hi Liana. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> That's a bit better. You can sort of see a bit closer, can't you? These are like, do you know the like the pink daisies? There we go. You know how I like pink and daisies. <laughs> I'm gonna do another pink one here. I've got a bit of. Gesso, I don't know if you can see, but it just makes a really like rough texture underneath. There's lots of brush marks here. I sort of covered it up. What was that? <laughs> Let's paint another one here. I'm going to use that filbert brush again because I like the way it makes those shapes, these like easy petal shapes. No, you don't even have to try. <laughs> it's the laziness, isn't it? <laughs> Simples, look. Simple. And then the gesso underneath also helps as well because that makes like texture and like different marks for you as well. So it's um, you can paint that without really trying much hard. <laughs> My kind of painting. Let's go back to the smaller brush. I'm going to put yellow, yellow, yellow in. Yellow? Did I say yellow? I'm putting a big yellow centre in that one and just letting it all smush in. Let's put a bit of bleach. I think this is bleach. Yeah, that's bleach. Let's see what happens there. It just pushes it all out. I've got some ammonia I was going to try <gasps> with some Yupo paper. <laughs> but it smells. <laughs> yeah. Let's put a bit of orange in that middle bit as well. I'm not sure what these are. Are they dahlias? They could be dahlias, couldn't they? I'm not sure what I'm painting. There's a pink, pink, pink flower. I've got, I've got gesso underneath. I've stuck this underneath because there was writing there from yesterday's one. <laughs> so they do look a bit like dahlias, don't they? My dahlias have not come out at all. I have no dahlias this year. I'm really upset. Was, um, I think I said the other day I didn't know that I don't, um, I don't <laughs> dig up the corner things. Cormas? Are they called cormas? That's a, that's a curry. <laughs> Corns. <laughs> I don't, I'm going to split. I give up. <laughs> I just won't speak anymore. But I'm going to paint some um, blue um, delphiniums. The pink and blue is nice together, isn't it? It's like... There's a bit of gesso up here as well. I sort of dotted it around. It's not all over it. So um, let's see what it does with this. Um, delphiniums. I'm, trying, I'm doing this like from my head. <laughs> so sorry if they, if they don't look quite like they're supposed to. It's because it's what I'm imagining in my head that they're looking like at the moment. And probably they'll probably end up looking like another flower. Or a mixture of different flowers because um, that's what image I have in my brain. <laughs> I 
So it's totally the wrong colour for Delphi. Oh, you can get different coloured Delphiniums, don't you? But they have the, it's usually like a pinky, purpley blue, like this, this blue. <laughs> As I put more pink in it, this, you can't even see. <laughs> I've got lavender blue, lavender blue dilly dilly over it. I'm not going to sing, sorry. It's a bit like Delphiniums, isn't it? Ooh, lovely. I like those spiky yellow ones. Lisa, I think they're lovely. I love, I love Damien's. I used to hate them. I used to think they were like old-fashioned nasty flowers, but um, I love them. <laughs> and uh, a few years back, was it a couple of years ago? My Delphinium border. Not Del... Yeah. Not Delphinium. <laughs> my Dahlia border in my... Um, Veg pot was fantastic. It was like so lovely, and I had so many. They were like bigger than this. Some of them, um, like, it was really pretty. But um, they, they, they've all died away. Sad times. But um, I should plant some more. But um, not at the moment. <laughs> green. Need some green to add to the stems. So I keep moving my palettes around. Gladiator lies, Barbara. <laughs> Damn it, no. I, I, I had like it was had um like a hundred and fifty gladioli bulbs, and they were just sat there forever. Like they're yeah, like a, from my ex when he like just buys a million of everything. Um, <laughs> when my daughter came and she planted them all, so but she planted them in really like. She's got blisters on her hands from there, but she planted them in like really odd places, so they just pop up in weird places, and um, <laughs> but they're just starting to flower now, which is good because my garden's better sort of June, end of June, and uh, beginning of July, like when I had my first open garden. But now I'm like, looking around there and um, looking around it. You came at the right time, Barbara. It's uh, it's not looking it's not looking as nice. <laughs> I'm just putting a bit of dark uh, orange in the middle of this one. Not looking as nice because everything, that hot weather killed everything off. My um, lovely, lovely gunner leaf is just shriveled. It's gone brown and just like, because it's like, no, I hate the hot because it's like a shady plant, bog plant thing. Oh, the one up the top is all right, the smaller one, but the big one, it's like, nope. Both of them down the end of the garden. So no, no. <laughs> they look like gladiolites, don't they? Not gladiolites. What am I saying? Delphiniums. Delphiniums have those big leaves, don't they? Um, what am I thinking of something else? Yeah, they do. <laughs> I'm going to stick some green in so you can see the seaweed there. What do you call them? Oh, not that watery. That's okay. Stem running down the middle. Um, I love hollyhocks. I can never grow hollyhocks. I've got one growing. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Why can't I grow hollyhocks? It's not this. Hostas are doing fine, hollyhocks, no, because sometimes the hollyhocks get eaten by snails and slugs, but I haven't got that many snails and slugs because I've got loads of hostas, so I don't know. <laughs> I've got lots of poppy heads as I'm painting them, so yeah, I thought they might look a bit nice. I'm doing really well not licking my brush this morning. There's the, there's the poppies. I'll be like that later, Barbara. That's my mission today. I've got to do some weeding. The weeds just relentless, aren't they? <laughs> I'm 
just using like a dirty color here. A dirty palette color. <laughs> Can't just have two, can we? Let's have three. My poppies have all stopped now. Sometimes it's put a couple over here. <laughs> I've just got the poppy heads, which I leave because I think they're really pretty. I love all the like, seed heads in these. Do one a bit better. Uh, what else should we put in here? I need something else. Let's do some white daisies. Because <laughs> I like a white daisy. Start off with the middles. Um, I'm just going to plump, plump some. Plump? Is that a word? <laughs> They're plumped. <laughs> plump. What was I supposed to say? It's not plump. Plump. Plonk. <laughs> <laughs> my glasses are, are just like my glasses are so scratched, my proper ones. I don't want to have to go up to them. <laughs> I can't see properly, so I keep having to change my glasses now. So I use like a pair of focals, but um, they're so scratched. These are white daisies, but I was painting them blue. <laughs> they look like white daisies. <laughs> oh, thank you, Manny. <laughs> so it looks like my garden at the moment, a bit of a mess. <laughs> I was just using the um, dirtiness on the palette to make the um, colour for the white flowers. And they're, both, they're in the shade, so they're like shady. But you know, they do look. I've got some lovely daisies at the moment. I've got those frilly things, what they're called. <laughs> those frilly daisies. I painted them last year. Oh, I've forgotten what they're called now. I'm terrible, aren't they? This is like, I open my garden for people and I can't remember what half of things are called. <laughs> Bees on sticks. <laughs> They're poppy heads. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> I'll put a bee in if you like. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to paint a bee now because um, I'm not at the moment. I'm just doing the stems to the flowers and adding some leaves and things in. Let's put some bees in in a minute just to finish it off with the finishing touch. What do you call the end thing? The oh. <laughs> I got I have these words in my head but they don't come out. <laughs> something like that you know the, the icing the cherry on the top hello lisa the wreath makes a complete vein what's that <laughs> the, the the yellow the yellow daisy type flowers with the um <laughs> the really wiggly leaves <laughs> and the massive leaves that are like this big on them giant I don't know what it's called <laughs> right okay I'm going to put a bee in I'm going to put one here <laughs> okay 
this is a bee, this is not a poppy head. It's for those of you without your glasses on. <laughs> Why isn't it a bit that Luna? Luna black. So it's going to go green because I put yellow down, but who cares? See, that's a bee. <laughs> After after get one, I'll get them some some on Friday. They're really nice. I did have to name with them. I've got like three types of it. I've got a smaller one, a massive one that gets over eight foot tall. And that's the one I'm talking about. It's like huge. <laughs> and then I've got a medium. I don't know, but they're really tall actually. And then there's one that hasn't got quite so wiggly wiggly petals. <laughs> With further wiggly wigglies, and there's one with really wiggly, wiggly um, doodies, <laughs> petals. God. Sometimes I wonder how I get through the day. There we go. There's a bee. <laughs> it's a big fat bee because it's uh, quite happy. Yes, it's a big fat happy bee. <laughs> There, I think this done. It's quite wet still, so I'm not going to lift it up because I think they like run everywhere. Um, that was the this. Is, well, I will lift it up because I want you to see the um, texture. Can you see the texture <laughs> from the gesso I put underneath to cover up the thing? <laughs> oh, thank you, Lisa. I hope it gets you like inspired to go and paint and have a go because um, it's just blobbing, blobbing colours down. <laughs> So I hope they look like delphiniums this is from my brain. My daisies aren't that brilliant, but it's just in the sketchbook. It's just to get you going for the day. I feel like I've done something when I do something in my sketchbook every morning. It's just like, it hasn't got to be perfect. It's just like, yeah, I've painted. <laughs> oh, thank you, everyone. Well, thank you for joining me. Um, if you haven't already, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, please do so because it helps me <laughs> and we get to see more of this so yeah thank you for joining me and i will see you see you um see you on friday yeah art supplies are astronomical lisa <laughs> lisa <laughs> and just make the most of what you've got use what you've got that's what I do I hardly spend much now <laughs> so I've got like tons anyway. <laughs> thank you for joining me and I will see you see you um, yeah I've already said that haven't I anyway cheers <laughs> I will see you on Friday and I'm not sure what I paint. I'll, I'll see. I'll try and get some of those wiggly daisies. Maybe I'll paint those. I'll get them out the garden. Okay. Have a lovely day, everybody. Thank you. Bye.